So now, after we've revised everything, what was our chapter three? What are we basically concerned about? When I talk about the, the, the system, what do I want to know about that system? In thermodynamics. Oh, excellent. State properties. What are state properties? Temperature, pressure, and volume, right? PV equals NRT, right? So if I'm talking about entropy of the state, what three properties am I basically concerned about? <clears throat> Temperature, pressure, volume. How do we isolate those? At constant pressure, at constant temperature, and at constant volume. What did we call them? Constant pressure are called what kind of processes? What about constant volume? What about constant temperature? Yay. So now can we talk math now? Yeah. Woohoo. Let's do that. We still have to figure out whether we're going to buy things from the peddler man, right? Okay. So now put our put our definition. Oh, what what level are we at? So we've done the second law. We've done officially defining entropy and now we're going to do Entropy as a property of state for an ideal gas. Are we ready to do this? Well, I don't know about you. I'm so ready. So entropy as a state property. Oh, uh, Sylvan, be warned. There's going to be three of them. Leave enough room for three columns or else you'll yell at me. So guys, leave room for three columns. And some columns might be more equal than others. <laughs> Just warning. Okay, so the first one we're gonna do, um, I think I'm gonna start with constant volume. Okay, no, but first of all, I'm gonna write equate the first law. Because I have to develop the second law starting from the first law. So now I have the quantity of energy and I have to figure out how do I fig figure which one has more quality. I do need to have the initial energy, right, to begin with. And I'm going to try to figure out the quality of energy. Okay. So starting from the first law, what was our first law? Can I also write this as work done if I'm talking about compression expansion work minus PDV? Okay, so I am going to start constant volume. Constant pressure. And constant temperature. Remember, constant volume are isochoric, constant pressure are isobaric, constant temperature are isothermal processes. Excellent. So I'm going to start at constant volume processes. Hmm. So if I start from, what do we want to call this equation? Lizard equation. Lizard? I can't lizard. draw a lizard. Uh, I am not. A not bee. What? A bee. A, bee. a bumblebee or a regular bee? Oh, no, a lizard. lizard. I am not doing a lizard. You can do one. I know you can. Doctor, say, just do like a, do a rectangle, do four little legs, right? A tail and a head. Yeah. And you got a lizard. Do they have um, antennas? Yeah. And they, yeah. Have six legs. and they have six legs. One, two, three, four. Five, six. There we go. That's our bumble. Where's oh. the stinger? Where's, oh, there's a stinger. It should be yellow. It should be yellow. Go away. <laughs> I am not. Oh, actually, I think I might be able to do yellow. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, can I not just color it in? I'm <laughs> just saying. You can definitely do a lizard. I, can, I should, should have done a lizard. Wait, hold on. Let me make this blue. Um, let me make this yellow. But then somebody will complain that it's not um, 
No, it should orange. have black stripes, right? It's an orange bee. It's as close to yellow as we're going to get. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to start with our bumblebee equation. What do I know about processes for my bumblebee equation when we have constant volume? May I write this as? CVN DT equals Q PDV. Is that true for constant volume? Okay, may I divide the entire equation with T? May, am I allowed to do that? Divided by T, divided by T, divided by T. What does this become? Okay. Excellent. Who said that? Good job, Andy. NCVDT over T equals delta S minus PDV over T. Got anything fancy yet? May I move the PDV to the other side? What will I get? NCV dt over T minus PDV over T equals delta S. What is the ideal gas equation? PV equals NRT. May I plug that for P? What will I get? NCV dt over T minus, uh, if I take this PV equals NRT, it will be NRT over V dV over T. Oh, yes, thank you. Good catch. Are we good? What happens to my T? Goes away. Do you see something happening here? Yeah, T's are, are going to go away. Can someone predict what I should do next? <gasps> Integral. <laughs> Woohoo! Starting from where to where? Or some initial state to another final state. Yes? Okay. <laughs> what else will we do? What else will we do? But it will be NCV dt over T plus nr dv over v equals delta s. Math people, am I allowed to do that? Integrate, integrate from some initial to some final, from some initial to some final. Will our initial state have ti, vi, pi? Will our final state have tf, vf, pf? Agree? So may I then magically do this? Do you see the difference? It is the same state initial and final, but as we talked about, how many state properties will it have? T, V, and P. So each state will have individual properties. And now that I'm integrating over T, will I not be able to integrate over TI to TF and then VI to VF? If I had a P in here, what will I integrate over? Done, right? Makes sense? Yes. Okay. Um, <clears throat> what is integral of one over log? Uh, one over lo cabin, log cabin. So what is integral of one over T? Log T. Can I do this in one step? Is there anybody going to freak out? No? Excellent. NCV log of TF over TI plus NR log of VF over VI equals delta S. So you started from your quantity equation and you ended up with your quality equation. Woohoo! Does equation two have any delta U in it? This is why you need the second law. 
Everybody knows the integrations, right? Everybody knows how I got that. Bobbleheads, I can do that step in the middle. No, good. Keep that in mind. 